Good day, good day everyone and once again we're back together. Alright, so we are still preparing for those prelims. So I'm going to be doing assets and bases and of course I'll just be throwing in random questions, you know, uh, just to try and assist you as you prepare. So if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing. All right, your favorite uncle will always uh, also be throwing you with good content on maths and science. All right, so let's look at this question from a past exam uh, question paper. They say to us, we've got a flask that contains 200 cubic centimeters of an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, right? Right, uh, so this uh, sodium hydroxide solution has got a concentration of 0 0.1 moles per cubic decimeters, right? Now they say to this flask, 50 cubic centimeters of an aqueous solution of barium hydroxide of unknown concentration is added, giving a total volume of 250 cubic centimeters. All right, so what is happening here? We've got sodium hydroxide, all right? And we also have now barium hydroxide that is added onto, um, you know, this, uh, yeah, this flask. Okay, right. So in this case, uh, we've got, um, now they say to us in a titration, now note, they are using the word titration, right? Now remember that what are we trying to achieve in a titration? We're trying to get an acid and a base to neutralize so that we can either determine the concentration of the acid or base, right? So what we're going to do, uh, just keep in mind in this case that we're going to uh, remember that our sodium hydroxide has a concentration of 0 0.1, okay? And barium hydroxide, unknown concentration, right? But we added a volume of 50 cubic centimeters. Now, once we have made the solution, right, of 250 cubic centimeters, we're going to take a portion of it, right? 20 cubic centimeters uh, to be exact, right? And they say that it's completely neutralized by 30 cubic centimeters of hydro uh, hydrochloric acid solution with a concentration of 0 0.1 okay now they say to us the ionic re uh, reaction is represented by the following equation so what does that mean it means that we're going to have hydronium ions reacting with hydroxide ions uh, to form h2o right now they're asking us a question what is the ph of the solution when the end point of the titration is reached now what does this tell you at the end you'll have water Okay, because you, you will have none of the hydroxide ions or the hydronium ions. And as a result, the pH is uh, equal to 7. Okay, so they've completely neutralized each other. So we've got a pH of 7. Right, now, okay, let's quickly look at 7.2.3. They say calculate the number of moles of uh, hydroxide ions, right, that are present in the 20 cubic centimeters solution, right, of the mixture of sodium hydroxide and barium hydroxide. Now, what we are going to do in this case, now remember, because we don't know much about the mixture, what we can do is we can use the hydrochloric acid. What did they do? They actually reacted completely with, with each other, and so, as a result, they neutralized, right? So we can say, well, um, for uh, the mixture of sodium hydroxide and barium hydroxide, right? What do we have? We only have the volume. So we know this is a base mixture, right? So the volume was 20 cubic centimeters, okay? And for hydrochloric acid, on the other hand, Okay, we've got uh, the concentration of that acid. It was given as 0 0.1 moles per cubic decimeters. Okay, as well as the volume of that acid. Okay, uh, this was 30 cubic centimeters. All right. All right, so that's 30 cubic centimeters. All right, and now what are we looking for? We're looking for the number of moles. And remember, we don't know much about this mixture. 
right? Because we added an unknown number of barium hydroxide, so it means we don't know what the concentration of this guy will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, um, and uh, remember, this shows us that we've got a one-to-one -one ratio of this mixture, right? So I'm going to say, well, CA, VA over CB, VB, which is equal to NA over NB, right? So concentration of the acid, that's 0 0.1 multiplied by 30. Now remember when I'm using this formula, I do not necessarily need to convert my uh, volume into cubic decimeters, right? So this would be again, the concentration of my base, we do not know it, okay? Uh, multiplied rather uh, by the volume of the base. And in this case, that was given as 20 cubic centimeters. And of course, uh, we have a one-to-one -one ratio there, right? And we get that from this reaction, one hydronium ion, one hydroxide ion will give us one H2O. So that means that our uh, ratio of the number of moles of acid to the base would be one is to one. Okay, so let's cross multiply quickly there. So we've got 20 times CB concentration of the base, will be 0 0.1 times 30, which gives us 3. Of course, we're going to divide each side by 20. Okay. And what does that give us? That would be 3 divided by 20. And that will give us 0 0.15 moles per cubic decimeters. All right. So that's the concentration of the base. But remember, we were looking for the number of moles, right? So now, now that we know the concentration, I can say, well, to calculate the number of moles, that would be the concentration times the volume, right? Our concentration is 0 0.15, okay? And remember our volume, we said that's uh, 20 cubic centimeters because we want to know how much or how many are in the 20 cubic centimeters. So remember now when I'm using this formula, I have to convert uh, the volume to cubic decimeters. So that means I'll take that 20, okay, uh, uh, rather, yeah, that 20, and I will divide in this case by a thousand. So this will give me 0 0.02. Okay, right. So take that number and multiply by 0 0.02 and I get a, the number of moles to be 0 0.003 moles. All right, I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, so the number of moles of uh, uh, that mixture or hydroxide in, the, in, in that mixture would be equal to uh, um, 0 0.03 three moles. All right. Now, um, let's go to the next question. They say to us, calculate the initial concentration of barium hydroxide, okay, um, of the barium hydroxide solution that was added to the sodium hydroxide. Now, you know, I often like to draw a picture of what's actually going on here, right? So remember initially, what did we do? We added uh, a barium hydroxide to the sodium hydroxide, right? And then we took some of that solution and we now titrated it uh, with the acid, okay? So what I'm going to do, let me just draw this. So suppose this was the sodium hydroxide. Oops, okay, I'm trying to draw a container. Okay, so that's sodium hydroxide, right? So this is the sodium hydroxide uh, solution. We know that the concentration was 0 0.1 moles per cubic decimeters, okay? And the volume, 200 cubic centimeters, right? And now what did we do? We added uh, barium hydroxide, but this only had 50 cubic centimeters. So... This is barium hydroxide, okay? This was only 50 cubic centimeters, but the concentration of this guy was unknown, 
Okay? So we don't know the concentration of the sky. However, what we then did was to take now the mixture of these two. All right? Um, remember now we've got 250 cubic centimeters uh, of the mixture of barium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. Right? And what did we do? We took a portion of it and we reacted it with hydrochloric acid. Okay. Right. So what did I do in this case? Uh, I took just a portion of this. Right. 20 cubic centimeters to be uh, to be exact. Right. So where are we working towards? We're trying to find the concentration of the sky. Right. I want you guys to please stay with me on this. So what I did. Right. Now, I want you to think about it. What I did was to find the number of moles of hydroxide ions, right? So, I found the number of moles of hydroxide ions in the mixture, right? So, now, I need to find out how many moles would be in the actual... Now, before I took, you know, the... Um, you know, the, 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 the number of moles that reacted with the acid. So how many moles would be here in this particular mixture, right? Now, I want you to please think about this clearly, right? If in 20 cubic centimeters, right, I found that the number of moles, um, you know, the number of moles were 0 0.03, Okay, 0 0.003 moles, right? And then how many would be in 250 cubic centimeters? Okay, or rather let's use uh, how many moles would be in 0. Point, uh, I mean uh, in 250 cubic centimeters. So what I can do is let me say 20 times N. That will be 20N. That's ratio and proportion, right? That's zero, uh, 250 multiplied by 0 0.003. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to say uh, 250 times 0 0.003. And that gives me 0 0.075. And of course, I'm going to divide by 20 on each side. So the number of moles... 0 0.75 divided by 20, and that gives me 0 0.0375 moles. 0 0.0375 moles. Now, ladies and gents, I want you to please listen very carefully, right? So what are these? These are the number of moles of hydroxide ions in the mixture, in this guy here, before I took out the sample, right? So I know the number of moles that are in here. And I want you to note, I can find out how many moles of sodium hydroxide were contributed there, right? So let me find out. So these are the number of moles were in the mixture. Okay. Now, number of moles of sodium hydroxide would be the concentration times the volume again, right? But what is my concentration in this case? It was given as 0 0.1 and the volume 200, but we need to convert it, okay, uh, into cubic decimeters. This is 0 0.2. And so what does this give us? 0 0.02 moles. Now, remember that sodium hydroxide, when it ionizes or when it dissociates, let me rather put it that way, when it dissociates, right, sodium hydroxide will give us, okay, one, um, one mole or as well of uh, hydroxide ion. So what am I trying to say? For every one mole of hy sodium hydroxide, I will get one mole of hydroxide ions. So which means whatever the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, it will be the same number of moles as in this case, the hydroxide ions, right? 
So stay with me in this case. So I found out how many moles. So remember, this was the result. Okay, so this was the result. We found the number of moles that resulted to be 0 0.0375. This guy contributed 0 0.02 moles, right? Would it be possible for us to find out how many moles were contributed by the barium hydroxide? Absolutely. If we know the total number of moles, right? In this case, it will be, so this guy plus this guy gives us that guy. And of course, to get a number of moles of barium hydroxide will take the difference between the two. So therefore, number of moles of hydroxide ions right way in the barium hydroxide solution okay okay maybe let me not use square brackets so that you don't mistake this for concentration will be 0 0.0375 minus 0 0.02 and so what does that give us 0 0.0175 moles so these are the number of moles that were in barium hydroxide okay right now what are we looking for the question however said to us we must calculate the concentration the initial concentration so what are we going to do we're simply going to say uh, in this case so concentration Okay, that's the number of moles divided by the volume, right? So in this case, what, does, what, what is our number of moles? It's 0 0.0175 divided by what is our volume, right? So for barium hydroxide, our volume was 50 cubic centimeters. So we divide that by 1,000, okay? So that would be 0 0.0, uh, yeah, 0 0.0. Uh, five is that true okay before you guys chastise me again for uh yeah 0 0.05 right so let's find out what the concentration is so uh the concentration is 0 0.0175 okay um divided by 0 0.05 okay so i get a concentration of 0 0.35 moles per cubic decimeters. Now, ladies and gents, I want you to please be very careful in this case. Uh, these were the number of moles, not of barium hydroxide, but of the hydroxide ions that were con uh, contributed by barium hydroxide, right? So, this is the concentration of the hydroxide ions that were in uh, barium hydroxide. But we're looking for the concentration of barium hydroxide. So what does that mean? I'm going to look at how it again ionizes. So if you look at barium hydroxide, right, how does it dissociate? For every one mole that I get of this guy, it contributes two hydroxide ions, right? So in this case, we can use the ratio for concentrations because it happens in the same volume, right? So that's the only reason why we can do it uh, with concentration. So for every one barium hydroxide, I get two hydroxide ions right so the question is right what would be the concentration of barium hydroxide if the concentration of hydroxide ions is 0 0.35 we found it there right so for every one there's two so for how many will we have 0 0.35 and of course, we can cross multiply. And please, when you cross multiply, all you are concerned with are the coefficients. 
right? So I'm going to say two times this. So that's two times the concentration of barium hydroxide. Okay, will give me, so one times 0 0.35 will give me 0 0.35. And of course I can divide by two on either side. So the concentration of barium hydroxide will simply be 0 0.35 divided by 2. And I get an answer of 0 0.175 moles per cubic decimeters. All right, so I, um, that is how the cookie crumbles. I hope that you understood this, right? Uh, I think the trick of the question is to really try and understand uh, what happens, uh, particularly in that picture that I've drawn there. I wish I could have used different colors, but it uh, would have taken us uh, quite long to do that, right? So we had an initial mixture of sodium hydroxide, right? We added it to a mixture of 50 cubic centimeters of uh, barium hydroxide, right? But the concentration was unknown but we know what happened at the result, right? We're able to obtain, in this case, the number of moles of the sample. And in this case, we, we took the number of moles of the sample to find out how many moles were there in the main mixture, right? And of course, we worked our way backwards. Really, ladies and gents, I hope that you understood this question, right? Yeah, sure, those acids and base questions tend to be a little bit uh, on the tricky side, uh, but of course, if you keep watching it, okay, and looking at how I uh, actually uh, answer these questions, in no time you should be able to answer them quite confidently on your own. All right, uh, this is it from me, from me, your favorite uncle. I'll see you guys again next time. Shop, shop.